Welcome back. We are talking now about rain barrel workshops where you actually can learn how to harvest rain mm. for future use. And joining me with the inside scoop is Margo Poston from the Apalachicola Research Reserve. Good afternoon to you. Oh. Okay, so we see these huge rain barrels. So, uh, you know, why is this something so important? Um, well, you know, conserving water is, is very important. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I guess what I advocate is um, because of non-point source pollution and by capturing water and keeping it on your property, you can, you can actually um, help reduce some of that non-point source pollution. So how does this work? You know, when people go out to these workshops, what do they actually learn and make? Okay, well, the first part of it, people sit down with me and, and I give a little presentation about why it's important and um, some of the benefits of capturing rain. And then I go in, following that, I go right into how to do one. And Coca-Cola has been a partner of ours now for about three years and they donate these bottles. Wow. Uh, these these uh, containers for mm -hmm. us and um I um, go ahead and I prepare the, the barrels by cutting all the holes okay. um, so that that's already done and then people I um, am able to get the different pieces the different um, the, for the uh, spigots at the okay. bottom yeah. um, and then I also make a, a top for it and this is just out of shower pan and, and regular screening and you just put that on there so bugs and such don't get inside and then people put them together. And so this is something you can just leave in your backyard collect the rain and then you that's know right. use it maybe in your garden or use it that's for right. those kind of. That's right. Um, so once it's Complete, then you want to put it up in, up near um, like the downspout of your house mm -hmm. and, and let the water flow in there or the valley of, of a house if you don't have a gutter system and and then you could use it in your yard for um, for your landscape um, it uh, doesn't have the chemicals that you'll find in pot potable water right. so it's much better for your plants and we had a couple pictures we see this one glow <laughs> in the dark I mean, that's just incredible. We had a couple of others that were painted. So this is something you can really put your, your own touch on, make yes. it fit into your backyard, make it fit Correct. into whatever, you know, you have going on back there. Uh, how long will rain, you know, the rainwater, will it stay good, I guess, if oh, you will? It, it'll always stay good. There is a tendency maybe for a little algae to build up, but mm -hmm. if you put just a little bit of chlorine in there and then let that off gas before you use it, then um, it'll take care of the algae Interesting. problem. Interesting. We're getting kind of the inside scoop here. Now, you do have a workshop coming up tomorrow, but that's absolutely right. full, full, but you still have plenty of workshops down the road. That's right. I have a couple up coming up. Um, uh, again, Coca-Cola donated more bar barrels mm -hmm. for the next ones. I have I'm, I have enough for a couple more uh, workshops, and that'll be March, April. And you see here, twenty dollars for one barrel, thirty-five dollars for two, and then of course we had all of your contact information, right. so you can get signed up because obviously these spots fill up quickly. <laughs> Margo, thank you so much thank for you. bringing us, giving us a little sneak peek. We certainly thank appreciate you. it. Stay with us. We're back in just two minutes.